Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 12th August 2023, ANI has reported that an upgraded MiG-29 squadron has been deployed at Srinagar Air Base to tackle threats from both China and Pakistan. The Trident Squadron, which is now also known as the Defender of the North, has replaced MiG-29 Squadron at Srinagar Air Base, which has traditionally been responsible for taking care of the threat from Pakistan. The upgraded MiG-29 has been equipped with very long-range air-to-air missile and air-to-ground weapons. The aircraft has also been provided with capability to jam the enemy's aircraft. Srinagar, which lies in the center of Kashmir Valley, has elevation higher than planes. It is strategically better to place an aircraft with a higher weight-to-thrust ratio and less response time due to the proximity with the border. On 29th July, Indian Air Force Chief of Air Staff has also visited a forward airbase and the fighter jet in the background which was seen is MiG-29 UPG. During the year 2020, when the tension between India and China was at its peak, the MiG-29 UPGs have been seen conducting a series of sorties from Leh Airbase to Ladakh. The fighter jet performed exceedingly well at high altitudes where other fighters struggled. The air density at high altitudes of Ladakh is significantly less. This creates problem for jet engines as they do not get enough lift, undermining their payload capacity. The Chinese fighter jets such as J-11 have struggled more due to their heavy weight. Even Su-30 MKI is affected by this phenomenon. Only the FALS and MiG-29 UPG have been able to operate and dominate the high altitude of Himalaya. The Chinese J-11, which has thrust-to-weight ratio of 1, will face extreme challenges from Indian MiG-29 UPG having thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.11. The lower thrust-to-weight ratio of J-11 will limit its ability to carry out weapons to full potential. The challenges will be even more during dogfight and performing aggressive maneuvers to dodge any air-to-air missile. However, MiG-29's RD-33 engines are known for generating instantaneous power which can easily overcome these challenges. The new RD-33 engines have extended the relevance of Indian Air Force MiG-29 fleet by another 10 years. These engines are manufactured under license at HAL's Kuraput Division. The engine upgrade has increased the weapon's payload to 4,500 kg under 7 hard points. There has also been 40% increase in the range of MiG-29 UPG. It can now take up missions up to 2,100 km on just internal fuel. Additionally, retractable probe has been added for air-to-air -air refueling. The excellent performance of MiG-29 UPGs in Ladakh during Indochina standoff have earned them the badge of Dragon Slayers. Indian Air Force is currently operating three squadrons of MiG-29, which are number 28, number 47, and number 223. The initial six MiG-29s were upgraded in Russia and remaining fighters were upgraded at 11 base repair depot in India. Over 60 MiG-29s have already been upgraded to make them more relevant and contemporary and capable. The upgrade cost of each MiG-29 is reported to be $15 million and as per Indian Air Force official, the MiG-29 UPG capability is comparable to F-16 Block 70 variant. The MiG-29 UPGs are integrated with a dedicated electronic warfare suite D-29, which is developed by DARE, Defense Avionics Research Establishment, a DRDO laboratory, and produced by BEL. The D-29 is an integrated electronic warfare system for radar warning and jamming that encompasses radar warning receiver, electronic countermeasure, ESM functions, and utilizes state-of-art active phased arrays for selectively jamming the multiple threat radar. The D-29 system serves primarily as a self-protection jammer that will boost survivability, enhance situational awareness and increase the mission effectiveness. The D-29 system detects and gives information about the position of the radio frequency source illuminating the aircraft and applies appropriate DFRM based jamming technique which is somewhere between 6 to 18 GHz. The system mainly consists of unified receiver exciter processor, solid state transmit receive unit with active array unit and a liquid cooling system. 
The another major upgrade in MiG-29 UPG includes Zook ME radar. The Zook ME provides advanced air-to-surface functions like mapping and terrain following. The radar features improved signal processing and has a detection range of up to 120 km for a 5 m square RCS target for the export variant and up to 10 targets tracked and 4 attacked at once in air-to-air -air mode. In air-to-surface mode, the radar can detect a tank from a distance of 25 km and a bridge from 120 km away. It can also detect a naval destroyer from a range of 300 km and up to two surface targets can be tracked at once. The antenna of Zook ME is electronically scanned slotted planar array and has a diameter of 624 mm. The MiG-29 UPG weapons includes medium range R-77RVVA and close range R-74 air to missiles and KH-35E anti-ship missiles. The R-77R VVA is an active radar homing air to missile with a max speed of 4.5 Mach, max turn rate of 150 degree per second and maximum range of 80 km. It uses inertial navigation for mid-course and within 20 km of its target switch to active radar homing. These missiles will be replaced by Astra Mark 1 upon integration which will give BVR engagement capability of 110 km. For short range, MiG-29 UPG is integrated with R-74 which is an infrared guided missile. The KH-35 missile which is also integrated with MiG-29 UPG is an all-weather subsonic anti-ship missile and having range of 130 km and speed of 0.8 Mach. It uses INS for mid-course update and within 20 km of its target switch to active radar homing. The missile has low signature and approach targets at extremely low altitude from 20 km range. The MiG-29 UPG also has EL-8568 jammer on board, which is capable of neutralizing radar-based air defense systems and radar-guided surface-to-air or air to missiles. It also provides jamming against air surveillance radar systems. The Indian MiG-29 UPG features OLS UEM IRST sensor. It has a laser thermal imaging and television capabilities and can detect airborne targets at a range of 15 to 55 km at plus minus 90 degree in azimuth and plus 60 degree to minus 15 degree in elevation. The IRST sensor allows the silent tracking and attack on a targets without activating its own radar. The other minor upgrades include advanced weapon control system and avionics including laser guided PGM capability, secure detailing to enable guidance from AWOX and ground radars, improved glass cockpit with enhanced HOTAS design, new IFF, new RWR which can identify the type of enemy radar and cue the AASA jammers with high ERP for effective electronic countermeasures. Overall, the upgrade of MiG-29 UPG has brought it at par with the latest 4.5th generation fighter jets. Apart from significant boost to its combat capabilities and electronic warfare capabilities, these upgrades have increased the life of fighter jet by 10 more years, reduced maintenance cost by 40% and increased the operational range by 40%. With the integration of D-29 electronic warfare suite, the base of Indian Air Force is going to the mountains of Himalaya. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.